Hello everybody to lesson 47 of HTML Deep Understanding course. In this lesson we will load the drag and drop uh, elements. So in drag and drop we could use it with any HTML elements like the images or the header, the footer or any element that we have it in HTML we could use it with drag and drop. So let's start and go to the code that we will know how to assign or how to put a drag and drop elements there. So let's go to the code. Here we have an HTML code. I mean the HTML page empty. So we will start with writing the, for example, here header H3. We'll say this title. This is uh, drag and drop this in. Okay, just for fun. Second one would be the f the dev. We we'll write here, for example, dev, and inside that dev we we'll write ID. So we will see dev one we'll call it for example div one then we will define the functions i have copied some functions there because uh, they are in HTML and css and in uh, javascript and i haven't we haven't studied that uh, thing so i will explain them uh, later so now i will use only we have here for example the styles for the div one and div two and here we have three functions which is allow drop drag and drop so these functions I'll explain them uh, soon. They are easy, and we, you will uh, study JavaScript later. So now, just know the codes as they are. The, then we have here on drop, or on drop, yes. So in this on drop, we will call a function called drop that we have uh, defined it at the top here. This is the drop function that we have defined. So here we have event that we will send to that. Second, we will we will define the on drag over, which is uh, an event on drag over, which is this on drag over. We will call a function called allow drop, which is this one that we have created. Okay, and we will send the event. Great. Okay, then we have another. Uh, element another html element inside that dev which is image and that image has uh, the source of that image so let's say the source is that image that we have it here and we have um, the the width and the height of that image so we have the width would be for example 88 or 100 the height for example let's say it would be 80 Great. Then we have the ID. We'll call it drag one. Then we will get uh, something called draggable, which could be allowed true or false. So whether this element is draggable or not, it's allowed to be dragged or not. We we will say yes, so that we need to drag and drop this image for from one place to other. Uh, we have another thing which is on drag start means when we drag what will happen on on drag start which is this one so when we drag that thing what do you want to to do i mean when we drag uh, when we start dragging the element we need to to call the function which is drag and event inside it which is we have created here which is this one drag okay so great then what we have after we created the on drag so it's draggable and we have id for that image we have the width and the height and on drag start call the function which is drag event and then we have another dev which we will tick the image to so here we will create another uh, dev i will see dev close it and here in the dev we have id it's div2 and then we have here the on drop so we will drag the image from the previous one and drop it here on drop we will say drop we'll call the drop event or the drop function we'll send the event and then we have on drag over means what means when we drag that element over this what will happen we will call the allow drop so I think it's easy 
I mean it's uh, clear for the English languages so let's go back and and explain what we have created here so we have created here h3 which is this one is a title for that listen we could direct no problem the second one which is two divs that one is the first and this is the second the first div call uh, is called div1 the second is called div2 and the first we have undrop means when we drop an element to this we have drop event we will call the function drop event which is this what do we have in drop event in drop event we have the event that we have sent means the element event dot prevent default it will cancel the default element uh, attribute then we have variable data okay we'll get we have variable we call it data we will get the that element uh, text okay I mean the content of that text then the target that we will send will say a pen child documented element by ID data so we will get the data from that element the content and send that content to the uh, to I mean to, he will append that as a child for that element that we have created or that we have get its content so then we have uh, on drag over means when we drag an element over this element it will allow drop means it will call the other function which is this allow drop mean prevent the de default and allow the dragging to that place then we have um, an image the image is draggable okay and on drag start when we start drag this we will call the drag function which contains uh, the, this code it means the event transfer it to that text element content I mean take that text uh, element content to the target ID so we will replace that text with the target ID so let's save it also here here it's only a uh, only uh, I mean only styles for that div two divs so we have float left we will be uh, both left the width of each uh, is 100 and they have height margin padding borders so just it, it could look great so let's and uh, go refresh that website we'll click double click and it will open now okay let's see what we have okay here's the image I mean the 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 height is small so let's see the width is 100 great the height should be for example let's see 19 90 okay great refresh it would be great so now when I drag the element to this element it would be easy the other I mean the opposite it's easy too so you could I, I mean to make it clear I will increase this I will say it would be 400 and the other element would be for example 300 okay also the image that we have here the width will be 380 the height would be 280 see that come and reload it it's great so when we drag the element lock when I drag it it shows a square there so I could put it in any way then when I uh, I mean let my mouse it will be dropped here so this was the lesson I mean the code is easy uh, isn't it I think it's easy so this does this is the lesson uh, of this session and see you in the next